good morning. Finished my weekend work stuff, which I think I might only have one more weekend of doing weekend work. And then with my new job, I won't be doing work on the weekends. So can't wait for that. But look at this beautiful morning behind me. The youth sailors are out this morning in Belmont Harbor. It's a gorgeous day. I think we might have like secretly a lot planned today. It is finally hung. Look at it. It's perfectly imperfectly hung. No, it's, it is awesome. It's great. You think you, you like it? I love Looks it. It's good. The problem I have, today I said in, the, in our, my run that we have a pretty exciting full day. And it's because like we are doing productive things this morning. Sarah's tidying up. We have been like slacking during the week tidying up. So she's working on that editing. I'm hanging those finally, which we've waited like months and months and months to hang. I'm gonna hang more stuff in James's room. And then uh, we might go out to brunch, lunch, we might not. We'll see a timing if it works out. We've got some stuff in the south side. But the reason why I say it's perfectly imperfect is this is a 100 year old building. That is a, from what I know and can tell, a almost original wall. The old plank and plaster is behind it in the wall. So if you hit a nail and you like hear like <laughs> of all the old plaster falling. And like, if you mess up one nail, like, the whole section of wall is gone, messed up. And the like the heights on the ceiling aren't level, the heights on the floor aren't level. Even the wall itself isn't flat, there's parts that like protrude out more. So like it's hard to make an arrangement like that and have it perfectly organized. So it's almost like if you embrace that that old apartmentness, I got I did my I did my best. Do you love all the stuff in your room? You wanna go some fruit with dad? So we can let mom edit. We also just hung this. We got this from Sarah's mom's house. A little. There you go. Measure two height, so that's actually two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet. Um, I need to see. We had something like attached there, but it stripped off because I was just using sticky things, which I hate and I didn't like doing it, but I was more eager. This little get up, so I need to. I think I bought tacks like a anchors to go in the back and then I moved that up because that's been bugging Sarah ever since we hung it and we've got one more piece that's going to go behind the door super cool Pirates of the Caribbean thing from the parks that Sarah's parents got a long long time ago I feel like we were going to put something here if not above that I feel like that's got a nice display going on so I feel like we need something here rather than there but let's go have some fruit Please. Yes, you've got that strap. So nice. James just loves his swing, huh? Got some new clothes on, some big kid clothes on, 12 to 18. A little big, but fit just right enough. He's checking out all the kids playing because there's like a good amount of children here. He brought his mic with him on the swing. Give me that mic. Got the bugaboo out. Woohoo! Going to an Oktoberfest. Yeah, so we're in Evergreen Park, which is actually kind of fun because we're going to Circle Park, which is basically like the halfway point between my house and Peter's house in high school. So a lot of the times we would walk, because we didn't have our license when we first started dating, we would walk and meet up at Circle Park. So we're yep. going to Circle Park. Christina and Grant and the kids are going to meet up with us later, hopefully. Yeah. If the rain stays okay. Yeah, it might rain, but I'm excited. Here we go, at the rec department. Got a bunch of fun stuff going on today. Dingsies are raining. We're going inside the rec department to do a little change. Okay, I didn't realize they had some flags out. Does that not look like almost like the Germany Pavilion in Epcot? Or France almost? 
Amazing. Look at this double rainbow going on. So I'm actually gonna walk around and see what's going on. The rain has stopped, but the kids stuff was only supposed to go until like six-ish, I think. And we're nearing six o'clock. So I'm curious if they're gonna like push it back a little bit to do some more, but everything kind of looks packed up over here. I was just checking it out. Christina, Grant and the kids are on their way. So like the least we'll do is have some dinner and now it's cooled down. It actually feels like fall. Okay, so it looks like there's still, oh, there's Christina. Looks like there's still pony rides going on. You can go in the towns like different vehicles. <laughs> Jen just learned to love cotton candy. Good job. Share with mom. So give me that back. <laughs> hey, oh, check out this. Hay rides in Evergreen Park. Woohoo! Also, we got live band. Live band started, and it looks like the rain's leaving us now, hopefully. Everyone's getting set up like the rain's gone for the day, so fingers crossed. All right, we're walking back to Christina and Grant's. Yeah, it rained during when like the time period of like a lot of the kids stuff. Um, so we didn't get to see like the petting zoo. I went over there just to see if it was still going on. It was on, a but they petting were... zoo, but it was like a goat. It was like a goat and maybe like an alpaca. So it was like two. It was, just, like it was three. definitely. It was. It was de so this is a village. Rides. This isn't a town. This is a village. Yes. So it was definitely like a it was smaller a petting zoo per scale of a village. And then you could like go in the different like municipal cars, which is kind of cool. There's like blow up bouncy stuff that was like a little bit too big for Jamesy. So they were just starting like the live music and whatnot. So we were thinking with the kids to just go back to Christine and Grant. We were also visiting two of your mom's friends. Yeah. So like we were chit-chatting and hanging out with them yeah. for a few hours, just catching What's up. What's so weird is I've spent so much time there because like my dad was in charge of the softball league and my mom was in charge of mini day camp and the dance program in our neighborhood. Both ran out of that area so like it's like so weird like I spent so much of my life there. They've revamped the building. It's like, like same same weird. but different. Yeah it's just like strange being there but cool. So they were just ominously looking at the tell the vlog thing because I made a comment. <laughs> They're like coming down here. Like we went to Pride Fest yesterday. Uh -huh. And it's city pricing, which is to me like a little cheaper than Disney pricing. But village pricing, I just <laughs> like all those like all the drinks I had were three dollars each. So three dollars. Like, they were like seven to ten dollars at a festival like on the north side. Uh -huh. uh, so it's like, ah. And like over ten for sure at it's Disney. Disney. Wow. Nice. If you're feeling really in the fall spirit. For a cider. Premium dollar charge, $4. All right, this is the beginning of Adam's Family, but we just rented Adam's Family 2, because Luca's a big fan. So it's gonna be Adam's Family 2 premiere night. Happy? We got home. I don't know, like, I wanna be confident and say James is gonna sleep good through the night, but we got him in his sleep sack in his crib without him waking up out of the stroller or car seat. Yeah, and I so, like, started, I'm just not convinced. Like, I started to lose my vision on the ride home, and the headache is creeping in. So tomorrow might be migraine. a ruined day. We'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully, Hopefully you'll sleep it all off. Goes to goes away with the nine nights. I was sucking it out of your brain. I don't want you to take it though. I will take it for us. Thank you. Thank you for hanging those prints today. Just your now, your prints we're... charming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good to be home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>